In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the geometric centroid of a cross section. So if, if you've taken a class in like physics or statics, you know, you've seen this, this D, you know, this integral dA, which is really represents the total area here times the centroid is equal to the sum of or this integral of x times dA. So this is like the, the centroid of individual elements and times the area here. A lot of times this this calculation for the centroid is called the first moment of area, all right? And the reason it's called the first moment of area is because here you got this area times a distance, and same thing here. And you've probably seen this most often. It's applied, especially for shapes that are you can break up into rectangular shapes and things. Them, you know, it's you've seen this, especially for here. Something is like y bar is the sum of a a i times y i divided by the sum of a i, okay, which is essentially the, the moments of areas of the individual elements divided by the total area will give you the centroid result here. And that's, you know, if you look over here, you can see the analogy between this equation and the other, okay? And that's, that's really what, what it is to calculate the centroid. And we're going to do this little example right here, this T-shape. And hopefully that'll illustrate all the points and you'll have some command of it and just to be able to go through the process. But here, look, check this out. So the first thing you need here is we're, what we want to do in this problem is calculate the, the geometric center of this shape. And this shape here somewhere here, I'm just going to say here, this is, it's got an axis, axis through its center here. And this, and the centroid is somewhere around here. I don't know exactly where, but somewhere right here this is the geometric center this would be this it's xx axis we'll call that and then we'll call this right here the yy axis of the geometric shape and the distance from we'll say uh, we'll say the distance to this location from one of the edges is its geometric center so this would be this distance right here to the x axis of the shape would be y bar okay and then here the distance from one edge to here would be x bar okay and in this case because the cross section is symmetric about the y axis here x bar is is going to be six inches or just halfway okay so this x bar this is simple this is a no brainer this is six inches from from the left from the left here okay now when we define a distance one of the important things is that we need a reference and so without even you know in order for me to say six inches from the left you know i had to say something about a reference so essentially i was saying intuitively something about a reference and this is what i defined as the reference for my x bar so in order to calculate y bar here to calculate y bar so now we're going to calculate y bar the first thing we need to do calc y bar the first thing we need is to select a reference. This is super, this is super important. You just, you got to do it, okay? Otherwise, you're not going to be able to know. And so intuitively, even though I, I did this here, even before I have this, let's say I don't even have that. I don't know how I'm going to define Y bar. I don't know where it is. I can choose either any location I want. It's my zero. So I'll choose this top edge as my reference, okay? So essentially, this is my origin, if you will. If you look at it from a coordinate system, this is my origin. But here... This, this line right here will be my datum or reference for my y bar, okay? So I'm going to define everything from this top line right there. All right, now I, I just need to go through the process and, and, in, and apply this equation right here. So here y bar, oops, let's use black, y bar is equal to the sum of ai times yi divided by this total area. So in this case, I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to break up this for this cross section, this T-shape, into two areas. I have this first area here. So this is my first area. I'll call that one. And then this right here, this, which I'll hash out the other way, this I'll call area two. Okay. And so essentially what I have here, if I apply my equation here, is the sum of AI times YI. So this would be AI, the area of area 1 is A1 times Y1 plus A2 times Y2 divided by A1 plus A2, the sum of all the areas. And so here, if I look at area 1, the, the area of area 1 is 12 inches times 2 inches. And the center of area 1, the center of area 1 right here is a 
from the reference right here, this distance is y1. And that distance is equal to 2 divided, it's 1 inch. All right, so there's going to be this 1 inch over here plus the area of 2, which is 10 times 1, okay, 10 inches times 1 inch times, oh man, I'm going to run out of space, 10 times 1 times the distance from the reference line here to the center of area 2, which is right here. And this distance is y2, and that is 5 plus 2 inches. So the center of this area 2 is here. This distance is, that first distance from here is 5 inches plus 2 more for the reference. So that's going to be 5 plus 2, which is 7 inches. And there should be a, right over here, there should be a 7 right here. So I should be 10 times 1 times 7 right here divided by the total area of the cross section, which is 12 times 2 plus 10 times 1. I run through my calculations, and that tells me that y bar is, this should be 94 inches cubed divided by 34 inches squared. It's great. The units cancel out. I, got, I get inches left, so this should be two, about 2.765 inches, okay, which tells me that my centroid, Okay, oops, let me erase this right here. The location of my centroid, my geometric centroid from the vertical right here, this distance right here is y bar is 2.765 inches. All right, hopefully that example helped and gave you kind of a quick refresher on, uh, on centroids. Let me know if there's anything else I can help you. Let me know if you like the video or, you know, there's something else I can show you. Take it easy. See ya.